What is up, people? My name is Daryl, and today I'm going to talk about how you can manage all your websites from virtually one website. Now, if you're a designer or if you're a developer and you're managing multiple client websites, I know it can be a total pain in the ass when you're trying to manage a bunch of different websites like on an Excel spreadsheet or something like that. Now, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to a website that you can do all this from, you know, so you can do it from one location. Now, the great part about this service is that you can watch the uptime, you can watch the SEO, you can email client reports that look absolutely beautiful. You can check for, you know, porn malware and all sorts of stuff. Now, in this video, I actually have this service. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I, you know, what I have and, you know, give you an example of it. Now, this is the website that I use. It's called Manage WP. And yes, it's owned by GoDaddy. GoDaddy owns this website. Now, that doesn't mean that it's bad. A lot of people have a very sour taste about uh, GoDaddy but it's one of the best software programs I've used. In fact, uh, I'm gonna give you the back end of it and show you what, how it works and everything like that. So let's go on the back end right here. So right here is the overview right here. Now the overview is just basically telling you a little bit about you know what you have installed. You can update plugins all from this area. You can watch the uh, everything. So this is my dashboard right here. Now right here, I have like all like the services. It's giving me notifications about my websites. Now right here under websites, this is where all the websites are. So. Right here, I'm monitoring around 15 different websites all from one location. So right here, for instance, you can go ahead and log into it with WordPress right here. You can go ahead and view the backup. You can go ahead and change the site options. And you can also open the website dashboard. So let's, just, just, let's click on one. Let's just see, for instance, you added your website and you wanna take a look at it. So right here, you can update the plugins from all one location. You can look at the uptime, you can look at the performance, you can look at all the information that you want from this one location about this website. So right here we have security. So right now what you can see the website's clean. Now, I know a lot of what plugins out there just say, oh, it's clean, et cetera. Like you actually get notifications right here if something's not working. So uh, a little while ago, my website wasn't connected and then you know I'm having a lot of problems with it. So I might want to contact the host and find out what's going on. Also, I have malware on one of my domains. So this basically let me know that I have porn malware on one of my domains. That's right, I got Russian dildos being advertised on my website, so that's no fun. <laughs> so right here we have the performance. You can go ahead and check the performance on every single page, on every single website as well. Here is the uptime. It will monitor the update, or monitor the uptime consistently to make sure it's always up. Here you have SEO, and then you also have beautiful client reports. So to add a website, you'll just click on add a website right here, click on add a website, and then simply just go ahead and upload the website. So you know you'll add in whatever it in. Now you will need to install the plugin for it and the plugins for free. Now the service is all for free. Everything here is for free, but if you wanna basically monitor stuff, that's where you gotta start paying some money, but it's $1 per domain. It's really, really cheap. So let me just give you an example of a, a domain we got going on here. I'll just go ahead and log into this one right here. I'll click on open WordPress dashboard. And it's great because you don't need to memorize all the passwords. You don't need to memorize all the, the, the garbage. It's, it's all there in the dashboard. It's, it, they have everything, it's great. So uh, let's go over here to, to um, plugins and go to install plugins and simply go down to manage WP. So this is the plugin that you'll need right here. So I'll just go ahead and copy it and just go ahead and show you. All right, manage WP. And this is one right here, 700,000 active installs. It is among some of the best plugins out there. So once you install the plugin, uh, you'll basically, let's go ahead to the settings really quick, just kind of give you a, a brief preview of it. I think you just need the actual pl uh, plugin. And then once you actually type in the website right here, it'll pick it up and then it's, it's connected. So it just needs the login credentials. That's all you need is login credentials, right? So once you install the plugin and then just click on connect the websites, add in the website, it'll connect it, it'll sync it, and then voila, it'll appear right here in your dashboard. Now let's talk about the reports. Let's talk about, okay, I added the website, now what? You know, uh, where does the money come in here, et cetera? So I'm gonna go over here and we're going to go to open website dashboard. So again, right here, we have the security performance, uptime, client report as well. Now, whenever you wanna add something in, such as like the add-ons right here, you're gonna have to pay $1. So if you want the add-on for the uptime monitor, it's gonna be $1 per domain. If you wanna go ahead and add in the client reports, which I really recommend, because I'll show you that, that's the, that's the last thing I'll show you, it's really nice, uh, it's a dollar. The, all, the, all the, all the add-ons for each domain is a dollar. So, I mean, all you gotta do is charge your client like $4 a month, it's, it's really, really cheap. So right here, you can kind of see that I have all of the add-ons right here. I'm watching everything, such as the uptime and the performance and everything. So, you know, I'm basically paying $4 a month for each domain, which is pretty cheap. 
It also lets you know about your, you know, your current downtime, etc. So let's go ahead and go to a website right here. And and of course, guys, you can always, you know, bulk bulk select stuff right here. You can select on all of them. Manage plugins. You can update all the plugins from one location. You can update the themes as well, all from one location. But I wouldn't do that because if your site breaks and uh, you know if it breaks when you update it, it's not going to tell you. It's just going to say, "Hey, you know, it updated." But you have to go check it out, you know. So let's just go ahead and go over to. We'll go to this one right here. All right, we'll go to Open Website Dashboard. All right. And right here, we can check out the security as well. We can check out the performance. And this is exactly what it's gonna look like. So the best thing to do when you're looking at this is to look at the load time. You wanna, don't don't look at the score. You know, GT Metrics is drunk sometimes. Sometimes they say, oh, it's running great and it's running like shit, you know? So you wanna make sure that you're looking at the load time. So is the load time good? That's all I care about, you know? Uh, uptime Monitor as well. It, this is 100%. Now, that doesn't always say that. You know, I bet you're thinking, oh, it always says 100%. No, I have a lot of websites with downtime. I have maybe five or six websites with like 30 minutes of downtime. So I have to call the host up, say, hey, dude, what the hell's going on? You know? So, uh, you know, that's the uptime. You have SEO, you can monitor rankings. I haven't used it. I don't recommend. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I haven't used it yet. So if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad, whatever. I, I don't know. That's not, that's not my business, really. It's not. Um, client reports. So when you actually get the service, you can actually add clients right here and then you can actually just email the entire report from your dashboard right here. So, um, you know, I'm not going to add in clients because I, I don't want to, but uh, when you do add in clients and you go to reports, it'll give you the option to send it to each client. So it's really, really easy. So over here under websites, let's go back over there. All right. Now let's talk about the client report. So what is the client reports and um, you know how can you use it? So right here, new reports. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and send a report for the last 14 days. I wanna include the updates, optimization, uptime monitor, et cetera. So all the actual, the, the add-ons, you can just go ahead and click on it saying, I want it to include this. So it's, it's really clean, it's really neat. Uh, you can include a cover page as well. So I'm not going to include that and click on customize. Website care reports. Here you can in, you can add an introduction message. You can also add in a closing message, such as like suggestions. And this is great because what this does, guys, is that like it keeps the residual income coming to you. You know, you get that residual income for managing the websites. You can also recommend a new host. Hey, give them an affiliate link. You make another commission. You know, so it's a lot of uh, good ways to make more money. And then over here, preview and download. So right now it's generating it. Do you want to copy for yourself? Do you want to send this to a client? Remember how we talked about clients earlier, how you can add in a client? Well, you would just click on send to client, select the client, and then pew, it would go over to that client. So right now it is generating the reports. So now we have download as PDF and send to a client. So right here, you can kind of see the reports. It gives you all the information, the uptime, and, and this is so neat and clean. And this is just like, this is the ultimate solution for uh, you know sending stuff to your client because it just looks absolutely gorgeous. It's just really clean. It's professional. It looks nice. You can download it as a PDF or you can send it to the client again when you save it as well. So I hope this video was helpful. I know many of you are actually you know you you have a business and you want to manage a bunch of websites from one location. I am using this because I am actually um, uh, monitoring web hosting. You know I want to see what's the best web hosting. You know so. I'm actually monitoring each specific uh, domain on a different web host, and I will have a web hosting competition. Now, uh, when I make that video, that video will be available in the description below. I'll have a full analytics of all the hosting. In fact, I'm even using a plugin to watch their uh, performance. So let me just give you, if you if you wanna use that, you don't have to use it, but I recommend it if you're, um, you know, if you are uh, monitoring uh, websites. Oh, that happens sometimes, that happens sometimes. Sometimes when you do that, that weird stuff happens. Uh, I'm using a plugin called Hosting Check. Actually, I'll give you the name of the plugin in case you actually want to download it for your clients, which I really recommend. Um, it is called WP Hosting Performance Check. Once you install this plugin, you'll go over here and just I want to see the last 30 days. So right here, it's giving me all the information for the last 30 days about this specific host. So you can always test your server and test your client server to see if it's the hosting that's a problem or if it's the developer, because I know it's a total pain in the ass when something's not working and the plugin blames the theme, the theme blames the hosting, the hosting blames everybody. I've, I've been there so many times, it's crazy. 
So um, it's also a really good plugin to help, you know, convince your customer that the site's good, don't leave, or you should leave, etc. So again, I hope this video was helpful. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see you all in the next video.